और इसी मंथन के प्रवाह को आगे बढ़ाते हुए मैं आवाज देना चाहूंगी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ यूथ अफेयर्स से ही कर्नाटका से सौरभ सालियान को जो कि लाल बहादुर शास्त्री पर अपना वक्तव्य देंगे Discipline and united action at the courts of strength for the nation was once said by a person who was born exactly 35 years after Gandhi ji and followed not just his birthday but also his principles. Yes, I am Saurav Salin representing NYK Mangalore from Karnataka here to speak about one of the greatest leaders of all time, the second prime minister of our country, Lal Bahadur Shastri. his life lessons and legacy in amritkal as a person who was always against caste system mr shastri dropped out his last name and remained lal bahudur the shastri came later which meant scholar not any caste though dowry system was very active at that time you know what shastri ji accepted as dowry acharaka and some khadi clothes that too because of the insistence from his in-laws when he could do it why are we people of 21st century still behind caste he was a man with power who never abused his power from joining a queue like a common man to paying the expense that incurred when his son used the government vehicle for personal use shastri ji taught us the real meaning of simplicity and honesty when he was in jail during pre independence shastri ji wrote a letter to his wife lalita shastri asking if she was getting 50 rupees from the servants of india society and later when she he got a letter from her telling yes and he is able to save rupees 10 every month he immediately wrote a letter to the concerned authority asking them to send rupees 40 thereafter and use the remaining 10 for needy people i mean what a selfless man he was humble tolerant with great inner strength and resoluteness he was man of people who understood their language and also a man of vision who led the country towards progress when he was serving as the prime minister his family had bought a fiat car out of loan and later when shastri ji expired his wife paid up the loan amount as per her husband's wish that's how our shastri ji led a practical rather ideological life even after death from joining the indian freedom struggle as a teenager to successfully curbing the 1947 riot and being the most honest prime minister this country has ever seen there is so less that we talk about this great man lal bahadur shastri and his valuable contribution to this country shall never be forgotten he will always remain to inspire and encourage millions of bharatiyas to stand up for their right fight until very end and be honest no matter what in 1966 he was posthumously awarded bharat ratna and i personally believe that the value of the award increased thereafter Today in this Amrit Kal our country is making strides towards success with Make in India and G20 summit spearheading the development Lal Bahadur Shastri a man of peace was the epitome of integrity surely if we all follow the path of this great man our country shall be even more developed not just politically economically or technologically but also ethically Jai Jawan Jai Kisan Jai Shastri ji thank you so much बहुत सुंदर 